Led by Professor Rupert Bourne, the Vision Loss Expert Group has compiled a global vision database of population-based eye surveys. It includes estimates of the numbers of people who are blind and vision impaired by age, sex and cause and is the most comprehensive study of its kind to date. In partnership with NASA, this research has been projected onto a global sphere with the aim of visually recognising patterns which could help reduce blindness. We have now estimated that 36 million people uh, in the world are blind uh, and uh, considerably more are vision impaired and we've been able to uh, show what the causes of, of that um, uh, burden are and uh, to show change over the last 25 years uh, in that burden. This data will enable people around the world to access vision health data in their regions to help with eye care programmes. People who have access to this data are then able to use that data to inform governments or non-governmental organisations in their host countries um, as to uh, how much of a burden they have of blind and vision impaired and what the causes are. So if you're planning an eye care program in a country, for example, that has no data, such as Chad uh, in Africa, an enormous country, uh, you're able to access the data from a model uh, which, which uses data from surrounding regions and countries uh, to calculate the burden for Chad. And then you can take that data and uh, use it in terms of building a case uh, for um, uh, using precious uh, health resources uh, for eye care. But what relevance does this information have for the general public? Let's say you're a carer or you had, the, you had a disease such as glaucoma, uh, which is the world's largest cause of irreversible blindness or cataract. You'd be able to have a look and see what the, um, the, the prevalence of the disease is in your age group, for example. Um, you may be able to find information about how the, the disease prevalence has changed over time. The data includes research dating from 1980 from both published and unpublished sources and it's available to any internet user. They can find maps uh, which allow you to find a particular country and uh, to pull uh, the information as to uh, how many people are blind or vision impaired. But also, in a rather exciting way, you can see the change uh, from 1990 to present day with some, some obvious changes where we've been able to show that the, the, the prevalence, the amount of disease in the population, the, the amount of people blind is, is reducing gradually over time. Unfortunately, the growth in the world's population, and particularly the older population, uh, um, uh, provides a counterbalance to that, which means that the numbers of people actually blind over time is gradually increasing. The data is presented in a way that allows eye health professionals to see the change in blindness over time, which could help reduce numbers of visual impairment in the future. This is Kachira Sestine for That's TV.